Hi my loves and happy full moon in Taurus. So this full moon in Taurus is such an intense and important one and I'm happy to tell you everything you need to know about this specific event because this full moon is not a usual full moon because it's created at Samhain, the feast of the witches at Halloween. And I really think that this is such a powerful message to have a big full moon of awakening and of big massive changes at the Feast of the Witches, where we end the old uh, Year of the Witches and where we start a new one. And why I say awakening and big changes, you may ask yourself, because with Taurus nothing is about changes. Taurus totally love to stay away and to not change anything, you know? But we have a very constellation with this full moon because this full moon will be created with a conjunction to Uranus, our great awakener. But let's start at the beginning. So this full moon will be created on Sunday, October 31st at 8 degrees in Taurus, 4 p.m. Um, Berlin time. So 8 degrees, have a look at your birth chart and see where these eight degrees in Taurus as well as in Scorpio is placed in your birth chart because in which houses these eight degrees um, fall. This um, yeah, tells you a lot of your very individual and personal topics you are allowed to work on on this full moon. So when we come to the main energies, we are in Scorpio season and Scorpio is the most intense, emotional, intuitive and um, yeah, meaningful sign of the zodiacs because it really dives deep into the oceans um, of your soul, of your emotions. And with it, it really connects with the core essence. It really wants no bullshit, but only the truth. And this is where we are right now. And this is what will be around in the following weeks. It's really about speaking and living our truth of really seeing all of us to see all of the world, you know, like all of the dark sides, the shadow sides. And this is so important because only if we are aware of what doesn't work, what is limiting us, what is, you know, like still very connected to painful experiences as well, or to secrets. Only if we see all of it, we are allowed to implement the light into our life, to transform and to heal. And this is what must be done in the following weeks because the following weeks set the foundation to everything that is created afterwards. And this is so powerful because this foundation wants to be created in our poorest essence that is built out of our emotions and also out of our soul because Scorpio is water element. It's completely connected to our soul and also to our past lives. It's connected to the wisdom that everyone carries within of our ancestors, the big, amazing wisdom of the universe. And the universe wants us to reconnect with it, to find our very own power and to be honest to ourselves and to furthermore create something meaningful because we are true to ourselves. So big topics. Also what I want to say is that um, Scorpio is connected to all of the shadow topics of um, sexuality. It's still a, a shadow topic um, of femininity, of the power of our femininity as well, and death and fear. And what we already feel a lot, especially right now, is the fear of our existence of not having enough, of not being enough. And um, it's also connected and the universe wants us to feel all of the emotions of rage, of anger, of love, of um, lust, of passion, you know, of rage, of every emotion, because this is who we are. We not only are like the happy person, you know, that makes everything right. We all have our own shadow sides and the universe Wants, wants us to work with it, to transform it into something powerful, supportive. So this is one topic. Then we have 
Taurus. So Taurus is on the opposite side. And like with Scorpio, it's all about the inner world, about um, emotions, about feelings, about the psyche. And it's about emotional security. When we have Taurus, it's all about self-worth. It's about creating something long-lasting, something meaningful, valuable, that lasts forever, you know? It's very much connected to the values in our outer world, our material world. Um, it's also connected to finances, to luxury, to wealth, to abundance. Because, you know, like Scorpio wants to create the safety and the abundance in our inner world, in our emotional world. And Taurus wants to create it in our outer world. So we have those two topics around. And the big over topic is safety, safety and security. And um, so the topic of this full moon is here. Like, where are you still so much focused on, on, on your outer world, on your achievements, on um, what you have to achieve and who you have to be in your outer world that you limit yourself in finding everything you need in your inner world where are you still you know like afraid of not having too much money of not achieving your goals of not um, having enough around of not um, living and feeling wealth and abundance in your outer world that you limit yourself to find all the answers in yourself because Scorpio is like the universal alignment as well and to create outer wealth, you first have to create the inner wealth. And often our fears connected to money, connected to self-worth, are limiting us to achieve all of our visions because we don't trust ourselves and we don't trust and listen to our intuition. And this is what wants to be let go of this uh, with this full moon. So topics of money, finances, security, safety in your outer world and your self-worth that is completely connected to everything. All right. And now we have here like the safety topics, but then we have Uranus creating that um, conjunction like only a, f a few minutes away from the moon. And Uranus in Taurus is already like, like over eight years we are experiencing um, changes in our safety all right we already do and um with this full moon it's really like we really can expect some massive changes surprises shocking news when it comes to safety uranus is our great awakener it really wants us to see the truth and to speak the truth very connected also to scorpio when we keep it this way and with uranus creating this conjunction with the, full, with the full moon. It's very powerful because with full moons, everything already is pretty loaded. And full moons also um, already create some weather um, conditions like with water. Um, so we can also expect, especially with Uranus together, some shocking news when it comes to the weather so maybe we will have many heavy weather conditions around as well but also we will experience um, this heavy conditions in our society in um, the political field if you think the election day is only a few days you know like ahead and also of course in our personal field so be prepared for things to turn out differently and to um, changes around your safety. Of course, they can also be positive, but if I see it intuitively, I really think they are kind of shocking. And maybe um, they will be positive at the end, but at the beginning, it's something that we have to emotionally deal with, you know? and um, so better be prepared. But what I also think is so beautiful at this full moon is that you truly are allowed to empower your inner strength, you know, to really reconnect with your intuition and the wisdom of our ancestors that lies deep within you. So the universe totally wants us to, to really rebuild the connection to our soul 
and to our inner guidance in order to achieve the bigger goals in our outer world. And this is so powerful because everything starts within yourself. And this is where the biggest power lies. And you already have everything you need in yourself. And the universe reminds us of this. So when it comes to your ritual, I highly recommend to create a big ritual for this full moon because the next full moon will be an eclipse, a lunar eclipse. And the month of not really manifesting too much and stuff like that starts. So it's the last full moon before the eclipse. And I highly recommend to do big grounding exercises to create a wonderful altar for yourself for the universe for the moon where you honor your emotions and your feelings work with very dark colors of scorpio you know like dark brown black um, violet dark red dark um, blue like colors like this and you can also implement the colors of um, taurus that are more enlightened like green of soft pink of earthy tones of beige of gold all right and connect them together and work with a lot of plants and natural um, material like stones as well as crystals for example i will give you some advices for crystals as well and use also a bowl of water to clean yourself drink a lot of tea for example as well and yeah, make it very beautiful and make a circle in your ritual because this symbolizes the cycle of life of birth of life of death scorpio energy so when it comes to crystals i will work with um, smoky quartz because it's um, connected to scorpio and it really helps you to release stress fear anxiety of the future and um, it also keeps away negative energies I will also work with amethyst, Scorpio energy as well, to bring alignment into my mind, um, mind and soul. And I will work with rose quartz, Taurus connected, because I really think um, everything that is created right now, the base and the foundation that we build right now, shall be built on love, love over fear. All right. I will also use. Citrine because it's the last full moon where you also work with manifestation and it's also connected to Taurus to Lakshmi energy Also work with Lakshmi at this full moon chant your Lakshmi Lakshmi mantra because she really Gives you the faith and trust that everything will work out in your financial in your outer world, you know in your material world wealth and abundance and I also will work with stoned wood um, to crown myself and to bring the crowning energy into the ritual. When it comes to oils, I will work with also wooden, wooden oils, um, earthy oils like frankincense or palo santo, stuff like that. Also use the lavender, for example, to really yeah, calm down and yeah, bring a soothing energy into it. And I highly recommend to do a burning ritual of letting go all of your fear, your anxiety of the past, because we are starting a new year of the witch as well. And it really wants to be, yeah. Mm, and really everything wants to be released that still holds you back from completely trusting yourself, listening to your intuition and transforming into the powerful woman that you already are. So these are my re recommendations. My wish is that this supports you a lot on your very own journey. Let me know if this helps you and I'm so excited to create more videos for you. Let me know what you are interested in. Also follow me on YouTube um, or Instagram if you watch it on YouTube to receive more information and video content in the future. And I'm excited for this full moon. This will be so powerful and it's truly on us to create the change. And every change starts at ourselves, you know, and everything you need is already within you. So happy full moon in Taurus. I love you so much. Have a beautiful one and we will see each other soon again.